Hello there and welcome back to Train Sim TV. In this video we're going to be doing a look and a preview at the all new upcoming mixed mode uh, scenario pack from Golden Goldsmith Scenarios. This one is for the Wary Lines and it's in the DBSO days between 1990 and 2006. We're going to be showing off one of the scenarios, uh, not on a DBSO um, working or anything like that, but actually a freight working. It's about 15 to 20 minutes long and the reason for choosing this one is just totally different. It's just something that you don't normally do in Train Sim, and I thought this would be a very nice way to show off what um, you can expect in the pack. Big thanks to Golden Goldsmith and Jason uh, there also for allowing us to do this preview video. Um, I have been testing some of the scenarios from um, over the course of the week, just giving them a hand on that. So it was, it was just nice that um, I was able to do this video as well um, for that. So um, we're going to start off here with the briefing. So um, the scenario is called Ballast Operator hence working on ballast workings um with these uh, ygb i think ygb these are the sea cow wagons the jt advanced ones um we're actually going to use the advanced side of these as well which is nice so again right so welcome having just completed dropping ballast where required on the suffolk line there is just a small part to lower stop to finish your train will soon move up the line uh, next to the ballast, next, uh, ballast drop area, so please hold on tight and then follow the instructions throughout. Please do not adjust any of your driving controls or swap wagons or cabs. Ideally, you should turn off the HUD also for this by pressing F3 or 4. Okie dokie. So we'll get rid of that as well because we don't need it. It's very rare that you don't need a HUD or any kind of driving. So, yeah. Um, this is a mammoth pack, by the way. It's huge. Um... I have literally tested about four scenarios. Unfortunately, I, I think four, three or four, something like that. I did have another one, but unfortunately, I've had a chance to get to uh, test the other one that I had. Um, as whilst this video is now live, I am literally sat in Spain. So this video was recorded um, on the night just before I headed off, which was Sunday. So the day before this video went live, um, I was just able to get this out ready for um, you guys. So we're going to be making use of these. Um, ballast or operating wheels in a short while more on that very soon this train will get moving in the moment so we're just literally going to hang on the side of this um wagon um and move on it's quite a cool little concept it's got um, a rake of the uh, sea cows and it's got a um i think that is a shark van a shark brake van i think there we go there's the horn so that's all scripted by the um, scenario nothing is controlled by me this is all driving itself and operating itself. And you might have seen the ride-along videos in the past where we've done um, from Golden Goldsmith, uh, where the 37s have uh, literally driven themselves along the route, which is really cool. Please see our, um, our back catalogue for them. You can see as well there's another load of sea cows in the rear there. So yeah, th this pack is huge. Um, it, it comes with quite a fair bit um, in terms of scenarios. Now, there's 30 scenarios altogether. 25 of these will be payware. Five of them will be freeware as a preview to the main bulky pack itself. Um, the payware side of things will be £5.75 um, for literally 25 scenarios. And these are all on the uh, Worry Lines, so Worry Lines 2.0. It should also actually, we haven't even put on the uh, on the YouTube yet, we've, we've streamed it, but we haven't actually done the video on it, so also make use of that. If you like your 1990s to 2006 sort of area workings, then this will be a pack for you. So again, the pack itself will be named, um, assuming unless anything changes at this point. Uh, it's Worry Lines, the DBS Old Days Mixed Motor Scenario Pack. Um, there's a couple of guys up there, but I'm in a thought look. So... Those of you who might have played um, Scenarios on Golden Goldsmith in the past will know what to expect with this. Um, Jason does a lot of work on these scenarios, and he, he, it's not just a case of just an A to B scenario. They come with all sorts of stuff. There's loads of cinematic cameras going on. There's loads of extra bits of gubbins put into the scenarios as well, like extra bits of scenery and stuff. It, it, it really does put a lot of work and effort into these, um, so really are worth a look at. And there's a load of other stuff on this site, and what I'll do is I will put the like link to his um, main website as well in the description. Here we go. Right, the rail worker has just um, contacted us. So hello. Along this little section, only the inside of the curve needs ballast laying. So once this, 
once you start moving again, uh, turn the relevant wheel on your YGB ballast wagon to drop in between the tracks and then shut it off when the train comes to a stop again. Okay. So these wheels are operatable um, by literally you hold down on your left mouse and then drag to the top, it'll open the wheel up and then you'll get um, animation of ballast dropping. The centre wheel doesn't operate but the left and the right side do, so the outer and the inner. And we're going to operate the inside in a moment when we get moving. So as soon as this, um, there we go, the brakes are dropping off now. And as soon as we get moving, there we go. And we should, there we go. We now have, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to first assume you can see that, you can see the ballast is dropping out. Which I think is really cool. And again, you don't really have many scenarios like this in train sim. I mean, I've never driven anything, well, sat in a train and done this. I've operated them before, but I've never done anything like this, so it's really cool. It's a different dimension of what you can do in Train Sim, and it just shows um, the talent that Jason's got for these uh, sort of scenarios as well. So this will go a short way, and then um, once it comes to stop, we'll uh, obviously shut the, uh, um, the, the doors again, like so. So we're just going to stop now. There we go, and they are just now off. So I have driven this, well I'm, I keep saying driving because that's your usual force of habit thing to say, but uh, I have been on this once already, I did test this so I know what to expect. Um, but yeah, it's really, it's just really cool, it's just different, just for a short little uh, run as well. Um, again, rail workers contacted us, so when the train starts to move again we need to uh, drop more ballast between the tracks, please. Um, and shut off when the train comes to a stop, so we are doing between the tracks again so we're doing the right hand side so this is the inside curve the cool thing as well with all these pop-ups is you get the little images as well like jason puts like the br logos or the other logos or um obviously what your operator will be at the time so there is one um which i did run the other week um other day not other week the other day um which was a central trains one that had a central trains logo on there so it's really cool you get some different stuff a little picture of the rail work as well. Just again, it's just little things like that, little details. Anyone can make a scenario and put a put a brief in there, but it takes time and um, the work to put in, like to get that sort of stuff. So fair play. I mean, I can't do that. I, I wish I could. Uh, I'd love to be able to do all that sort of stuff, but I haven't got the patience. <laughs> mainly patience, um, all the knowledge to do it. But yeah, mainly patience. So all the uh, all the workers down there looking really really busy. As you would expect. So we're not too far from lower stop. We're just literally on the uh, the last straight into the station here. Now it's not just um, bits of scenery that Jason puts down. He he, he, he does other things as well. Like um, I mean, there you got back the uh, train. I'm sure. So I'm not sure how he's done that. Unless he's made an asset. But I don't know. Or he's dragged the train up. But you've got. Like train over the track where well the ballast has been dropped. Shut them up again. Oh, rail workers here again. Uh, along this short straight, we need ballast dropping on both sides up to the signal. From there, you should be done. So shut the ballast doors when the train. Um... Oh, sorry. From there, you should be done. So shut off the ballast, and the train will move be moved into the station lo uh, to finish. Sorry, I got that totally wrong there. Right, okay, so left and right, when this gets moving. But yeah, I was going on to say, yeah, so it's not just a um, bit of scenery. Jason had its like track sound and stuff as well, so there's all sorts of different things that you'll notice, but which are sort of like key to that scenario and that year. So different changes have uh, been put into reflect, which I think is really cool. A lot of work and research obviously has gone into these. Um, to make them as realistic and as fun and engaging as possible. So once the, uh, the brakes lift, uh, we will open both sides. So left and the right, which is the inside and the outside. There we go. And we should be off in a moment. With a clunk. And I should... With both sides, there we go. So you can see both sides are dropping. You can see it a bit better on that side because the sun's not on uh, on that. So a bit of shadow, so you can actually see the ballast um, flying out.
Again, it's just something different. Not something you do normally. I suppose it's, always, it's about bringing different things to the table and trying to do something different. Not trying to be the same as every other scenario that's been done out there. So the pack's currently not available. I don't think it's far off. Um, I know Jason obviously is in the testing phase. Um, getting everything sorted, ready for the release, I think. So once the pack's released, I will rev uh, like revisit these and I'll put the link to the pack in the description. So at the point of when this video went live, it wasn't out. But if you've come back and you're watching it like, a bit after, um, just check that description because the, the link may be in there um, now. Well, it will be at some point anyway. that's been dropped old sleepers as well yep. we should get a message at any time now from our friend the rail worker. He says. <laughs> it should be any time now and then they, what'll happen is this trail then Or maybe we don't get a message, I could be wrong. <laughs> maybe we are, maybe I was wrong. Looks like we're moving off. Uh, so basically what's happened now this still uh, go up to the sidings uh, by the station. And pretty much that's the end of the run there. Again, this is just a little preview. Um, just to give you a taste of what you could expect in this pack. Once again, 25 scenarios on the payware side of it. 5 which will be freeware as a, a bit of a preview. Um, 30, 30 in total. As a whole. I was literally just arriving at the the, uh, the blocks at the end of the side of the station. I'd just like to say thank you um, for briefly uh, watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope if you're still here at the end. Um, again, it was just a short one just to uh, give you a taster of what is to come.
again, a massive thanks to Jason as well at Golden Goldsmith Scenarios for allowing us to do this preview video. Um, again, I will put a link to his website in the description and also I will revisit the video description once the pack is released and I will pop the fresh link in there also. So do check in case um, if you're watching this later on uh, after it's released, um, like a week or two after it may be out, I'm not too sure. but yeah. Pretty much it. Don't forget you can catch it on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv forward slash Trinsome underscore TV. Um, this week, however, I won't be there <laughs> um, as I am off um, and I will be away on holiday in Spain. So I will be back the following week from uh, week commencing the 30th, I think, or 31st or the 1st, somewhere, wherever it is. I don't quite remember. But, uh, somewhere around there. But thank you very much for watching, guys. That is the end of the run. And massive thanks once again. Take care, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.